obviously he's a brilliant comedy writer. His monologues, um, which is, are all his, uh, did not contribute that much to the writing of uh, his series. He would certainly let you know when he liked something. He'd let you know when he didn't like something. But um, as far as being in a room with writers, it was, it was, it was just very separate from his uh, monologue. It was a lot of fun. Very funny. One of the funniest people I've ever been around. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I concur. We, st we still actually reminisce sometimes about some of, the, <laughs> how, uh, some of the things he said that year. <laughs> but like Glenn said, it was very disappointing because we were huge fans of his early work. And I don't know whether, um, I, I assume he, he, he didn't contribute to the writing because he felt like it would, it would be an intrusion that wasn't his place. But he certainly could have with us. We would have welcomed anything he had to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was great to work with. There were, he, 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 he would I had moments where he would be unhappy with the way things were with the writing or something, and he'd let you know it, as Glenn said. He seemed he had a specific rare. delivery that he gave. Were you oh, able yeah. to match that and write to that? Well, it didn't matter what you wrote; he would do that <laughs> delivery. <laughs> that that was, that was pretty much his uh, his uh, <laughs> way of talking, stammering, it instinctively is, his own. It is funny though that some spec writers thought that they had you, to put you, in the you stammer. had to put that put that on the page, and they would put in the little ums and errs. <laughs>